up, everybody? Welcome to the October 6th edition of Cisco. I'm Abdul. We got a great show for you guys this week. We're going to be telling you about events that have happened and are going to happen this week, such as the chilling blood ride from last week. Here are the anchors of the story, Danielle, Jenny, and Sandra. This past Wednesday and Thursday, we had a blood drive. We had a great turnout, which made it impossible to count how many people actually donated. We tried to get numbers from staff, but there was a lot of refusal to share the goodies. Paul got a chance to go down and interview the head RN, Lisa Bart. She gave us all the information on how you qualify for being a blood donor. We also caught a medical emergency on camera. Show us what you got, Paul. I'm here talking to Lisa. She's the head RN running this outfit. We're going to ask her a couple questions here today. So, uh, Lisa. How many students do you have here donating blood today? Um, we're probably about 60 to 70 donors at this time. All right, cool. And um, how did you guys set this up? Is this through the Red Cross? or? No, no, no. We're with Long Beach Memorial, and um, we're taking, we come every six months um, in the spring and in the fall to run a blood drive here, and we've been here for several years. What does it take to become a blood donor? Um, to be a donor, um, you want to be at least 17 years of age. Um, you want to make sure that you're well and healthy, not taking any antibiotics. Um, you want to have a good meal before you donate. Um, have a picture ID. Um, we have a questionnaire that you fill out. Um, so if there's any questions um, as far as any medical diagnosis or medications, the DRS covers that. The paperwork covers that. Um, and just make sure that you drink lots of water two days prior to uh, donating. Yeah. And is it true that everyone gets like little treats and snacks after? Yeah, all you can eat um, snacks and juices and water. Uh huh. We have peanut butter and jelly outside for those who haven't eaten anything prior to donating. And um, what are some of the contraindications uh, to blood donating? Like I heard you can't do it if you're anemic, if you're under like 80 pounds or something like that? If you're under 110 pounds, you cannot donate. Um, if you've had a tattoo in the past year, um, if you've had any self-piercings, that's a year deferral. Um, there are several questions um, that get pretty personal um, that are on the questionnaire. And then when you read the questionnaire at that time, you can decide whether or not donating is for you. Okay, cool. Well, what was your first and last name one more time? Lisa Barker. Lisa Barker. Mm -hmm. Well, this is us. Uh, we're done with C-Scope. Um, this is Lisa Barker, the head RN, the blood drive. Thank you very much, Lisa. You You're have welcome. a great day. Thank you. No problem. We're watching Cindy Garcia, first time blood donor, getting prepped to give blood. She's getting a little anxious. You can see it in her eyes. The bag's ready. Waiting for the, waiting for that excruciating needle to push in. So, so painful. Not really, folks. It's not that bad. It's like getting pinched. Well, that's it for us today here at the blood drive. We didn't get a chance to donate any blood. The line was too long, so I guess we'll have to do it next time. But we did get to talk to an RN. Lisa, she was very nice and very insightful. And we also got to see Cindy... Garcia, AS trustee, donate blood for her very first time. Back to you guys in the studio. Girls Water Polo had a great game with a score of 21. They completely spanked the competition. Our cameraman Derek got great footage and highlights of the game. Now down to Derek at the pool. Excellent job, ladies. Keep up the good work, and you'll put Cypress College on the map soon enough. Over the weekend, I saw the Toy Story double feature, and the movie never ceases to amaze me. Even as the years have gone on, few animated movies have managed to have the same appeal. The movies are more than just funny characters thrown into ridiculous situations. They manage to capture some of the heaviest issues, including abandonment and mutilation. While Pixar has flourished with successful films since then, I still think Toy Story ranks as the best movie they have done, not only for its advancements in animation, but also because it set the blueprint for modern storytelling in children's movies. I honestly think that without it, movies like Shrek and Spirited Away would not have been as imaginative. Even though the 3D did little to enhance my interest in the movie, it was already an amazing experience to see it on the big screen for the first time in this decade.
There is little I can say to convince you to see this movie. You either loved it or you didn't. But if you loved it, this is an opportunity you cannot miss. We have been looking for the scariest places on campus and have been unsuccessful. The only locations that have terrified the staff have been the health center and the library. Wait till you see the piece on Beach Boulevard. If you, the viewer, have any opinions or ideas, please drop us a line and give a helping hand. C-Scope Productions is now open for business. What does that mean? If a student wants to make any presentations or a short movie, we can facilitate. We have the technology, we can make your PowerPoint better than ever, and we have green screen. However, our services are not free, so please bring some currency. From all of us here at C-Scope, thanks for watching. And please subscribe for your 24-7 news at Cycron.com. And remember to listen to Cypress College Radio. This is Andrew, signing off.